sunny in Imperial Beach, but if you look out to the east, some big clouds and some lightning also in thunder. Yeah, and some heavy downpours. Uh, these storms are producing a lot of rain. It's remnants of what was once a tropical storm downgraded to a tropical depression, but it is knocking on our door, moving through the county, and we have a couple of days of it. So we'll get started with Pinpoint Doppler Live right now. Uh, we'll start off and move up into the north end of the county, right near Borrego Springs. You can see all those white lightning strikes. Those are actually uh, lightning strikes that have happened within the past 30 minutes or so, right about here, here, and here. But that red one that you see there is happened within the past uh, several minutes. Some heavy downpours where you see the orange and the yellow. Those are producing up to an inch or two inches of rain per hour right down through the burn areas as well. We've got some returns all the way along the eight. So anybody traveling along the eight east or west, this is what we're dealing with. A lot of rain out there. This is looking out live over Cuyamaca and those dark clouds continue to produce a lot of those showers and thunderstorms. This is a time lapse and notice by about two o'clock dark clouds coming on in four o'clock. You've got some rain and scattered showers moving through. Flash flood watch I showed you at five has now been extended. It was for the mountains and deserts. It now includes the valleys. So all places except the coast are now under a flash flood watch through Tuesday at 12 AM. So this is pretty extensive. You can see it's now been extended west. This watch has been. Here's the tropical depression that's left over all of the rain moving up. There's an area of high pressure over to the east, and that's pulling a lot of the rain over to the east. Nonetheless, we're right in the middle of two systems. So what's happening is it's getting pulled right up our direction and then taken over to the east. Now we'd like to see some of that rain over into Yosemite where they got the fires, but not happening. We're getting all the showers here. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms overnight into Monday. Monday afternoon, the commute home will be rather wet. How much rain? Well, some places are going to get a quarter of an inch to almost two inches of rain, and some of those burn areas in the mountains will probably get three inches of rain. Pretty rare for August. Future cast 7 p.m. Nothing going on. We go through the overnight hours. You might get a couple of light scattered showers tonight through the early morning. One o'clock, you can see some starting to get closer to the county through the morning commute. Might be a little bit wet, but not the heavy stuff. Not yet. We'll stop at 7 a.m. A lot of cloud cover. Not heavy rain just yet. We're looking for the green. There it is by 12 o'clock moving into the north end of the county coming up from the south. Heavier rain closer to 5 p.m. And this is going to be all of the county and those shades of yellow will produce some heavy rain and then it's out of here by the time we get into Tuesday. However, we do have some more rain in the forecast on a Thursday, a chance for it anyhow. So here's your seven day forecast. Uh, pretty warm and toasty just about everywhere tomorrow. It's close to 70s and 80s. Our temperatures are pretty uniform, so our microclimates are not really a factor for us tomorrow. Humid as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, again, a chance for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Seven day forecast for the inland valleys. A lot of rain coming through in a short amount of time. Muggy Tuesday and Wednesday. More monsoon moisture comes up. We have another chance for some more showers on Thursday. But at Teak and Preston, it looks like tomorrow afternoon is the bulk of it coming through. So if you don't have it heavy for the morning commute, it's the afternoon. It's going to get tricky for us. All right, we warned you. Yeah. You ready? Thanks, Craig. You got it.